kids, welcome to Terry on Tuesday. As you can see, it's complete and utter chaos in the kitchen of creation. Uh, we've been working on the top half of the sarcophagus for the film. Uh, we need to tidy this up bit, bippity boppity boo style, don't we? Uh, right, let's just do bippity boppity boo with the help of this. There you go. So, pull this up very carefully. What are we doing today? Well, first thing, let's get the little uh, annoyance out of the way. Do you remember the gun? Do you remember the gun I was painting? Look at that. <laughs> that is not a paint effect. That is uh, what we call in the, in the trade a cock-up. When I took the masking tape off, it pulled all the gloss paint off. I'm fairly sure, anyway, that the black um, is is a very cheap brand of paint that I was using. So what I think I'm going to do with this gun, I'm going to get some normal sellotape. I'm going to remove as much of the uh, El Cheapo black paint as I can, give the top a, a complete new coat of black paint, uh, preferably a slightly better brand or whatever, and hopefully that'll work. So last time, uh, you may remember, I was working out the sizes and cutting out some paper templates for the front parts of the, uh, the leather work on the, uh, on the mask. And I made up two, uh, two cheap templates so we can get the sort of size of them right. So, you know, that's pretty good. However, I have since traced my templates onto the red vinyl and there they are uh, right then so so now we've cut these out let's just arrange these so you can see them these are the two front ones and uh, these are the outer ones and you can't see that. There you go. There we go. Two front, two outer. These are the flaps all the way around, all four. Apart from the top, these are not flaps. These are gluing areas where you put the glue on those to glue them onto the actual onto mask, like that. So I'm gonna keep these for now. Um, there's the outer one. Oh, I've, got the, I've got the paper templates anyway. I think I might try and work out the the shroud at the back because you know we've got the four of these sorted now so for the shroud it needs to be at least as long as the edge the outer edge there obviously up to here and all the way around I'm thinking I'm a thinking that obviously it doesn't go up this high I think it goes at least to the the very edge of the front flap there so I think, I think it should be like this, All right? So from the back, it would look like straight across the top, uh, down either side, and then a slight curve, you see like that? So basically once it wraps around, it will end up coming down a little bit at the back, just so it covers the back of the, uh, the person and slightly goes over the shoulders, because obviously the, the, the actor's shoulders or whatever, the wearer's shoulders come about here anyway. Uh, so I think that will work. But let's see if we can cut out a template for the shroud at the back, or the, the mini cape, if you will, that hangs from the back there. Let's do that. Anyway, the first thing I need to do is to measure uh, the, the back half circumference. So we are essentially we're going from the center of the uh, that rivet there to there all the way around. And how long is it? Well, I've got a decent ruler for a change. Again, I'm doing this in inches. So I'm not going to go all the way into the helmet. It's just going to stick to the to the mask. So I'm going to go from about. I'm going to go literally from the top of this, this rubber line here to give us an idea. 
10 inches exactly. I've gone and found my tailor's tape, which had been lost for a long time. It was in my Greebly bag, which sounds a bit weird. Okay, so, 17 and a half inches, um, and I'm just gonna go up to 18. It's always better to have a bit more than a bit less. Um, and obviously 10 inches high. Uh, don't need to fold the top, but we we'll probably need to fold the bottom. So again, add a half inch. So let's make a quick note of that. So we were saying let's add an extra four inches to here. So that would be 14 now, add an extra four. Uh, so in total, 14. So four inches there. Sorry, that should be, there should be no arrow there. It should be stopped there like that. Um, and 23, gonna be tricky to fold over a curved edge. Um, you have to do, you can't just do a straight line. You have to do stuff like that. Otherwise it, you know, it doesn't, doesn't fold properly, but we'll, we'll work about that when we, uh, we'll do that when we, when we come to it. I think I started, I might as well just draw this straight out onto the vinyl. Um, 23 wide, 19 at the top. Um, don't forget to fold half an inch either side. I'm drawing them on the outside here, but they should actually be on the inside. Um, no fold at the top. Whoop. Need to, need to do, draw a curve there, which would be a tricky one, but um, I have my ways and means. In other words, I'll fudge it somehow. But, as the Romans said, carpe diem, or carpe per diem sees the check, as Robin Williams said. Now, where's the drawing? Where's the drawing? Can y'all see that? Y'all can see that, just about. Let's do this properly, prolopy. So we need a center line. Let's just find the center. 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 I apologize for all the time-lapse stuff this week. Originally, there wasn't going to be any time-lapse, and I was just going to talk as I work. Unfortunately, I talk a lot and work very slowly, so the video was 20 minutes before we even got started. So all I'm doing on this bit now is marking out either side of the shroud and getting our shape sorted and the angular edges, which I'm working out right now. Then I need to put a curve at the bottom, so I don't have a compass big enough or a piece of string handy, so I thought I'd make a curve using a piece of cardboard like I did with the Andor thingy. Okay, bit of paper, a bit of cardboard, with a hole in one end, just like we did with a piece of plastic to do the big curves for the Andor thingy bob. Okay, it's holding on. <laughs> That's real good. It's so good. I'm just going to do that side as well. Alrighty. Sorry about the hole in the table. My table. Do what I like. So you can see now that we've got a decent curve. And that is 10 inches from there. It's another 2 inches or whatever it is wider. It's about 4 inches longer. Maybe a bit... Is it 4 inches? Yes, uh... Uh, no, it's about five inches, yeah, because I went extra, didn't I? Lovely, 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 lovely. Now, all I need to do is transfer these lines to this side, which I'm not going to fold over and do it. I'm just going to just transfer them by the, using the measurements. So all I'm doing, transfer everything that I did on one side to the other side, should be sorted. I'll mark out where the little tabs are. I'm going to fold over and glue. Okay. Well, I wasn't even going to narrate this bit because I'm just cutting it out and speeding it up because it's flipping slow. Oh well. So, shroud is on. Uh, like I say, this will go behind 
the face plate so this will actually sit in front but that's pretty good look lines up with there as we said it goes down at the back um, it's got a bit of bit of outness there obviously it, it does do this if you look at the pictures it does buckle in which is fine that looks rather well it's like a snow trooper actually I feel like a snow trooper I'll pop it on for gits and shiggles why the heck not yeah. okay okay so let's get this on straight so we've got these on the front it does stick out a little bit i'm wondering why let's have a look at the side yeah and it's going to sit on your shoulders how about the back i can't even see that but okay so what are we thinking I'm thinking, is this too long? I'm thinking the back may be way too long now. I mean, it's nice to have something to conceal the back of your head, um, but I need to bring up some photos here. Um, so you should judge for yourself. Right, that looks really short. Um, the, you can see the sticky outy corner. So I'm gonna have to decide whether to cut the edge of it right up to the corner there that's pointing sticking out and really shorten the back by about six inches or leave it as it is i'll have to decide hmm i don't have a back view just yet yeah basically what's happening is my shoulder is obviously getting in the way of this and pushing it out like that so it could do with shortening a little bit anyway i don't think this is a waste of time i think this is actually really good it may be that i have to shorten it a little bit at the back here but i'm going to go i'm going to go look at some some photos some reference photos i think upstairs on the computer obviously um but he's coming together nicely i think that's fine right i think that's going to be it for this week um a little bit of progress, nothing major, but we're getting there with the, the pleather shapes and uh, hopefully the next time you see me I'll have some glue and I'll have, uh, I can get around to gluing the edges and putting the studs on um, and we can finalise the, uh, the shape of this shroud and uh, do some bit of progress. That's it for me for this week. Uh, thank you for watching. As always, do likey, subscribey and um, feel free to leave comments and suggestions and questions and uh, yeah um, what else was I going to say um, fingers crossed we'll do more on this next week uh, I may have some more news regarding off-world and bloody students and uh, if I do I shall tell you so from me from the kitchen of creation I'm Gerald take care now Bye-bye then.